Arcane. Adjective. Understood by few. My mother would tell you she chose my name because it means mysterious. Growing up, I found that to be true. I've always found my own way of approaching life. It wasn't until I was older that I realized not everyone sees the world through a camera lens. Not everyone hears the soundtrack playing during their big moments or hears it replayed for each memory. I have this constant urge to stick out, to do something no one else has, and I can get lost in a project for days. It took me a while to discover my creative flow and even longer to understand it and where it comes from. But I'm getting there. I grew up in Lincoln, Nebraska, the heart of the Midwest, and a free-range artistic home with no shortage of creative influence. I was born into a family full of artistic talent that built the foundation of my visual style. My upbringing emphasized taking time to be present in each moment, full immersion in everything and appreciating details and never wasting the time we have. I started making movies when I was 10 and I got my first iMac for Christmas. It began as a way to pass the time and soon turned into a full-time creative outlet and passion. Filmmaking has been my preferred medium for storytelling and communicating feelings. I found it to be one of the ways to fully express myself and find the calm in my mind. I have found the work of Martin Scorsese to be my favorite. Goodfellas takes home the award for my favorite film. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. My biggest influence was my first mentor, my grandmother Jan. From the moment I was old enough, we were coloring, drawing, and painting. By grade school, we were taking trips to the art gallery to find inspiration. She guided me to recognize and develop my personal artistic style. Like her mother and grandmother before, grandma was a painter. She taught me that in art and in life, everything doesn't have to be perfect. Beauty is in the imperfections. At first, I found this hard to learn, but she always was there to point me in the right direction. I can now appreciate the imperfect details that make each creative piece unique. When she passed away, I found myself stuck. Hey, Arcane, this is Grandma. Just wondered how you're doing. There's no Grandma loves you and I hope you're okay. And please call me. Okay? Love you, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Remembering what she taught me helped me find my way back to my art. And it continues to influence my filmmaking today. Today, I attribute my influence and style to the likes of ASAP Rocky, a musician and fashion influence, Kanye West as an artist, not so much politically, but from an artistic point of view, he is in a different league. Lenny Kravitz, and lastly, most importantly, Goldlink. He's the owner of my favorite song of all time, titled Crew. It's my theme song, and I play it every Friday at least once. Something I credit to my unique style is the 16 years of competitive tennis I played. I attribute my determination, grit, and discipline to the years I spent on the tennis court. I learned to fail a lot, and I learned to go right back to the drawing board and find a way to succeed. I played my way through the ind individual competition and team and player dynamics in high school. Our team ultimately won a state championship, and in college, I navigated through organizational politics, fundraising for charity, and in the end, we won our first conference championship for the first time in 38 years. Come on! Let's go! Woo! Let's go! I graduated from Doan University with a degree in media communications and an art minor. Our school is located in Crete, Nebraska with a population of 5,000. Attending a smaller private school allowed me to customize my path. And additionally, I can say my education provided me with a holistic skill set that reaches beyond just filmmaking. It was here in 2016, I experienced something that changed me forever. I had my first convulsive seizure and I was diagnosed with schizencephaly, which is a rare neuronal migration. For me, I was so thrown off. For my 20 years of existence, I have been indestructible and this completely shook me. Though through this experience, I've learned to love more, cherish friends and family. And now I walk around with a deeper appreciation for genuine connection. All of these things help make up who I am and direct my future path. I believe that time is the most precious, non-renewable commodity, more than money or material possessions. This belief shapes my approach to life and learning. Why waste time on anything that doesn't make you happy? Speaking to what makes me happy, though, 
I love watching and making films because it's an escape, as I am sure it is for many people. Whenever I am stressed out and need a break, I turn to my phone and consume media, almost as a heroin addict turns to heroin. I tend to watch more movies now that I am in film school, and I have a better appreciation for everything that goes into making them. In my spare time, I find myself watching more lighthearted YouTube videos about the UFC and world news. Eventually, I would love to start being a part of the media that is consumed by the masses. I have come to love using music and visuals together. Ideally, I would love to be making visual albums for artists. If you haven't ever seen the Disney Plus visual album by Beyonce, Black is King, or Lemonade, I highly recommend it. The beauty that music can bring to visuals is memorizing. Visual albums, if you don't know, are like music videos, but span over the entire album, and all the songs would tie in together and have a general theme. Who knows though, two years from now, I could be turned on to something completely different. Of course, getting to know who I am as a person and an artist will be a lifelong pursuit, but I learn more each day, and I want to pursue my passion over a paycheck, apply a hard work ethic, and enjoy the grind. My style is driven by abstract, gritty, full sensory design that leans towards intense hues and varying tones to express movement and depth. Rarely subtle, my work hopes to grab you by the shoulders and wake up your senses. My visual perspective thrives on change. I understand that I am the kind of person who always chooses to push forward and immerse myself, even in the craziness of the world. I dare you, challenge me. What do we want to feel? What would satisfy us as being the meaning behind this world?